Hello you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Eve. Today I am going to do a little Q&A get to know me video. I started my channel three months ago now. I probably should have done this as like the first video on my channel, but I didn't really think anyone would be interested in it. But on my latest video, I had a few people actually ask for this. I appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed to my channel, even though a lot of you know absolutely nothing about me. So today I am going to tell you guys all about me. I found questions off of the internet that I am just going to be reading and answering for you guys. Let's get started. So the first question, what is your full name? My name is Eve Marie Demeester, not Evelyn, just Eve. How old are you? I just recently turned 23. What is your zodiac sign? I am not like super into zodiacs. I mean, I like, I just wish I knew more about it, but honestly, the whole thing confuses me a little, but I know that I am an Aries. Honestly, from what I've read, a lot of things seem to be somewhat accurate. Also, I wanted to add off that question. My Enneagram, I am a three. That is like crazy accurate of me. My sisters and I, when we were on like a girl's trip in Florida, all took this test and literally sat in the car for like an hour and cried reading our descriptions. That sounds like we're really emotional, but it was just like crazy having something describe us so perfectly. And we were all different, but they were all just like so accurate. If you guys have taken the Enneagram test, comment down below what you are. I'm really curious. I'm into that. Or if you're really into zodiacs, you can tell me what you are too. You can tell me what my zodiac means. <laughs> Moving on. That was a little bit of a rant. What is your height? I am 5'8". Where did you grow up slash where do you currently live? I'm from Michigan and I grew up on the west side of the state in Holland. It is like a kind of beach vacation town, super cute. Absolutely loved growing up there, living next to the lake, but it is pretty small. So I just recently moved over to the suburbs of Detroit on the east side of Michigan. Love it over here too. And there's just a lot more over here, but my family is all still in Holland or Grand Rapids area, which is about two and a half hours away. So I definitely try and get over there as much as I can. Are you in slash have you gone to college? So yes, I went to Michigan State University and I graduated in 2020. It is so weird to me that now there's been a whole other class like that's graduated past me. Like I've been graduated for over a year. That just is mind blowing to me probably because 2020 was such a whirlwind. Like it doesn't even feel like I graduated. I graduated online from home. It honestly was not very eventful. The next question is if you did go to college, what did you study? My major was advertising and then I had like double minors. I minored in sales and then I also did a minor in retail, which was really interesting and a lot of fun. I got to like go to New York through that and visit a bunch of companies there and do a lot of fun stuff with that. I wish I could go back to college. No, not really. Actually, honestly, post-grad life is way better. I was super involved in college. I was in a sorority. I was an alpha fee. Love Michigan State. Go green. <laughs> oh, and a fun fact I thought I would throw in here is that for most of high school, I was actually homeschooled. So I did not have a typical high school, like I didn't walk in a high school graduation because I was homeschooled. So since my college graduation was canceled due to COVID, I have never walked in a graduation ceremony. I'm not too heartbroken about it. Okay, next question is, are you single or taken? <laughs> Why does taken like sound weird to me? Taken. I am taken dating my boyfriend. His name is Alec. I have been dating him for quite, I don't know, almost four years now. We met my freshman year of college, second semester in class. We sat next to each other the whole class and got to know each other and really became friends. He would always like offer to drive me home. The whole semester had such a crush on me, but I had no idea. I mean, I kind of did, but like I did not know the extent of it until now, like I hear stories from his family. Then we hung out during the summer quite a bit. He lives over here on the east side of the state 
and I was still living on the west side so he would always like make excuses like oh I'm just gonna be in Holland this weekend like want to grab dinner like really he was literally driving three hours across the state to take me on a date and then driving home what a sweetheart <laughs> we started dating then the beginning of my sophomore year in September after hanging out and just being friends all summer and we dated all the way through he is two years older than me but he took a fifth year I like to think he took it just to spend another year with me next question is how many siblings do you have or do you have siblings and yes I do I am a middle child I have an older sister who is 16 months older than me so she's just one year older than me um, her name is Jade I have a younger sister who is two years younger than me Megan and then I have a younger brother Trenton who is a senior in high school right now. I am obsessed with my siblings. I love them so much. My sisters are honestly my best friends in the whole world. I talk to both of them every single day and I don't know what I'd do without them. Just like built-in best friends that aren't going anywhere that you can do everything with. And Jade is engaged. She's getting married this summer to her fiance, Ben. So that's kind of like another brother. Those are my siblings. Okay, next question is, do you have any pets? And if you've watched any of my videos, Prior to this, you know the answer to that. I have two cats. Rory is a girl. She is just over a year old. She is a purebred rag doll. She is the sweetest, fluffiest girl ever. After having her for about six months, I decided to get another cat. I could just tell that she wanted a friend. And everyone was like, you're crazy. Cats like hate other cats, but no. I got another cat, his name is Rex, he is now seven months old, and they are obsessed with each other, in love, sometimes I'm like, you guys are siblings, like stop kissing, they just like lick each other all day, they love each other, they're so sweet, Rex, I adopted him, after getting a purebred cat the first time, I was like, I definitely want to adopt the second one, but I want everyone to know, I love dogs, I am not just a cat lady, I just love animals in general, I hope to have a horse one day, I just love animals. I grew up with a golden retriever and then this past summer my parents got another dog. She is a German Shepherd. Her name is Denali. I love her so much. She is the sweetest puppy. Well, she's like a year old now. She's so smart. I love German Shepherds. I would definitely consider getting a German Shepherd in the future. She's trained in all German, which is pretty cool, but sometimes frustrating because I forget the words. And then my parents also have a cat as well named Piper that he's like seven years old. Those are my pets. Love pets. I can't wait till the day I can get a dog, but I live in an apartment building and I would not get a dog until I have a yard at least like somewhere that it can go out and run okay the next question is what do you do for a living so I actually have a corporate job I work in marketing I love my job I'm so thankful for it and it's a lot of fun I started it during the pandemic working from home and still work from home and then also I am a yoga teacher so I kind of have been on and off with what I'm doing with teaching right now but this summer we'll be teaching a lot more yoga and I'm hoping next year to get a really consistent schedule with that too. I'm obsessed with yoga. I love teaching yoga. Next question is my favorite food. I guess I would have to say probably chips and guacamole. <laughs> I don't know if that's really considered a favorite food, but I love chips and guac. I could go to a dinner and just eat chips and guac with a margarita. <laughs> and then going along with that is my favorite drink. Probably a uh, iced coffee with either almond milk or oat milk in it would be like my drink of choice but if we're talking like alcoholic drink of choice probably an Aperol spritz I had an Aperol spritz for the first time in Paris like two years ago and since then have been obsessed with them every Thursday Alex's sister and I Kristen go to dinner and get Aperol spritzes I'm also really into rosé right now too and of course margaritas because I love Mexican food and chips and guac okay next question is my favorite place in the world. One of my like favorite happy places that I can't wait to get to would be up north Michigan. Alec and I both have lake houses up north. I honestly just love going to our lake houses so much and being up north and like summers in Michigan. There's honestly nothing better. I very rarely leave Michigan during the summer. I love to travel during the winter and colder months but during the summer there's no reason to leave Michigan. It's amazing. And then another really special place 
to us would be Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Alec and I spent every spring break in college there together. Love it there. It's one of those places that I could just keep going back to. The next question is, are you a good cook? I roast vegetables. Like I do very, very, very basic cooking. I love to bake and I do bake a lot. I'm a fine cook. Am I making casseroles? No. Make a good avocado toast. Let's just say Alec asked me to start getting HelloFresh again because he wants good food. <laughs> Next question is, do you play any sports? No, not really. All throughout my younger years, elementary, middle school, high school, danced classical ballet, like very, very not competitive dance, like classical variations, competed in the Youth American Grand Prix. Um, the summer intensives. Any dancers will know what I'm talking about. I moved to Florida for a little bit to dance at the Sarasota Ballet Company. I quit my senior year of high school before going into college due to several reasons, mental health, injuries, the typical. Loved ballet. It sometimes feels like a whole different life that I did that. I loved it and it taught me so much and like definitely made me into the person I am. I think I'd be really different if I didn't do ballet. And also going back to that homeschooling comment, that is why I was homeschooled for ballet. Favorite podcast, definitely The Skinny Confidential. I have learned, I've been listening to the podcast, honestly, almost since they started three, four years now and love it. I have learned so much from that podcast. It's caused me to spend way too much money, but it's also like, taught me so much and always love listening to that. So then the next question is my favorite movie slash TV show. I feel really lame about this one, but I am like not a movie TV show person. I don't, I couldn't tell you like the last time I've watched a movie. Let me think. Oh, Alec and I watched Lincoln Lawyer like three months ago. It's a really good movie though. And then TV shows, I do watch, I, I prefer more like reality TV shows, which is I think why I like YouTube too, because I like like real life, if that makes sense. Big fan of The Bachelor, Bachelorettes, watch that every season. So that was probably the last TV show I watched, but I used to watch Keep Him With Kardashians housewives. I did watch all of Gossip Girl like in high school and loved that. So that might be one of the only TV shows that I've ever like watched all of. People will always like start talking about popular TV shows and I'm like I'm sorry but I have no idea what that is. So out of it. Okay moving on. Next question is my favorite thing about YouTube. There's a lot of things I love about YouTube. I think it's really great how it has formed a lot of communities. I feel like I've met friends through YouTube, love watching YouTube videos and especially like vlogs and stuff because I do feel like I'm like friends with a person. It feels like you're just hanging out, spending the day with them and yeah, I don't know. I like the community, the people you meet that you wouldn't meet outside of internet. <laughs> the last question, why you should subscribe to my channel and kind of like what my channel is about. I am going to be posting about my life, my lifestyle, doing vlogs, taking you with me on trips, doing hauls. I've always just kind of been the person who loves over sharing. To my sisters, I've always been the one that will buy all the stuff, try it out, and then let them know what they should buy. So honestly, I, yeah, I just really love sharing and I want to share my life with you guys and create a little community here. And yeah, I appreciate every single person who has subscribed. If you're not already, please do subscribe and join the fam here. Comment down below so that I can get to know you. I hope that I can provide some value to you in any way, whether that's makeup tips, fashion tips, or just like, routines day to day. At least maybe you like watching my cats. I'm really excited to be making videos. I've had so much fun with it and I definitely am a person that does not quit or give up easily. I'm Once I get my head around something, I keep doing it. So I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I have been absolutely loving YouTube and I appreciate all of the support that I've gotten so far so so much it seriously means so much to me subscribe say hello introduce yourself also i will insert my instagram here if you guys want to go check out my instagram follow me send me a message that is 
the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel like you got to know me a little bit better. I can't wait for where this journey is going to take me and I love you all. Thanks. Bye.